What's going on guys? My name is Essence and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're back. We do fun things here and today we're doing butterfly locks. Okay you guys, so I've seen these locks all over online and they just looked really intimidating. And once I watched a few tutorials, I realized I can do this. And so I did my hair, this is how it looks. And so if you wanna see how to do butterfly locks all on your own, not have to pay anybody anything, keep on watching. Oh wait, and before you go, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel that way you don't miss any more videos on protective styles like this or any more natural hair content from me. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification. Okay, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, so first I'm gonna show you what my hair looks like from the back. So these butterfly locks are a little bit bigger than I would usually do my protective styles, but I like it this way. I love the way it looks. This is what my parting looks like, and this is the length and the texture of the hair. I did use some Amazon Passion Twist hair, just in case you're wondering. I'll leave the link in the description. This is what the top of my hair looks like. As you can see, I pre-parted everything. Um, I started off first with doing a braid at the root, about an inch down, and then twisting the rest of the way. This just gives me that sleek, tight look right at the root, but then easy to put in and take out with the twist going down. Another thing that I found really easy was doing this hairstyle in steps. So one night I blow dried, the next day I parted and sectioned out and twisted all of my hair. And then on this day, I went ahead and installed the locks. I just found it easier to like do it ahead of time rather than dealing with the stress of parting and installing all in one day, because you're really gonna need to focus for this style. So I found it better to have it already all done so now let's get into the actual installation of the hair. So I used two pieces of passion twist hair on each section. Now on the back I did start with one, but I found going forward that two is definitely the sweet spot to get this hair at the right thickness. Um, and you want to make sure that the hair is actually covering your hair as well. So use two. Now on YouTube I found, I found a lot of girls like ripping the hair, the passion twist hair apart to separate it and I'm not sure why because number one it makes it excessively frizzy and number two you lose a lot of hair that way from tangling. So go ahead and just run your finger through it. Honestly it's just really easy this way, really smooth and I'm just not sure why you'd be ripping the hair apart. So anyways, go ahead and separate the hair between your fingers just like you see me doing here. Super easy, super simple. I won't be afraid to If I gotta choose me I gotta do what I gotta do When I love you I lose me Now I can't be attached to you no more all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this hair right up to my root. Let's get into this, you guys. So first of all, you're gonna see that one side of the hair is significantly shorter than the other side. So you see this long part here? That's the part you're gonna be using to wrap around. The short part here is the length that you want your locks to be. So depending on how long or short you want it, make sure that you put it to that side, to that length, and then tuck that hair away so it's a little bit out of your way. I just kind of threw mine behind my arm. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking the longer piece or the longer side and I'm going to go ahead and wrap that around the base of my twist slash braid. We're going to call it a twist, but you know what I mean. We're going to go ahead and wrap that around a good three to four times. I did have some of these slip out, you guys. So please make sure that you wrap this a good three to four times, nice and firm. Once you're done, what I did was I actually used my thumb to help me get the hair around and you'll see what I'm talking about. But you're gonna wanna go ahead and wrap this around just loosely. There is a sweet spot between too tight and too loose. I found that using my finger kind of gave me that like good balance. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting the hair around and I'm just using my finger to just flip it back to the other side. It's not complicated. This is not the hard part. Just make sure that when you're going down that you're covering your hair. All of your hair is covered, especially if your hair is a different color than the hair you're using for the lock. Make sure everything is nice and covered. And you're gonna wanna wrap loosely to get that butterfly effect look. If you wrap too, too tight, it's not gonna be a good look. It's, you're just gonna get a, a shiny lock, okay? So go ahead and wrap it nice and loose, but not too loose. Find your sweet spot and don't worry, you're gonna find your sweet spot once you reach to the front. So go ahead and keep wrapping. Okay, so we're reaching to the end. I want you to pay attention to this part. I am going to show it again, but just pay attention. So this hair here, that is the length of hair that's been chilling this whole time. The hair in my hand, that's the hair that I was using to twist down. I'm going to take that hair and just start twisting it back up. Okay, so you are going to have to adjust it in your hand a little bit 
once you start twisting back up but just get your grip go ahead and twist it right back up the lock if you have a lot of hair left for whatever reason don't twist it back all the way up to the root just go ahead and start working your way back down at that point if you were to get your hair all the way up now at this point it's really important to get your hair integrated into the lock you're almost wanting to like um, kind of tangle or overlap the little strands of hair so you'll see me take like the smallest strand of hair and make sure that's twisted all the way in and then go ahead and do a palm roll just to kind of integrate it in that's what's gonna keep it from unraveling I haven't had any of these unravel so you're good so that's what the lock looks like so far the palm roll does work not sure why but it does okay so here's the, the hair that's been hanging out for a little bit what I've been seeing people do is take this whole chunk of hair and twist it right all the way back up. I don't like that idea. What I did was I took about one third or half of the hair and I did it piece by piece. I'm trying to get my grip here. You can see me. It does take a little bit of practice. You get your grip and then you take that hair and you start twisting it right back up. Okay? You're going to keep doing this for each section of hair but the reason why I take it piece by piece is because I want the hair to overlap each other so that nothing I don't have any flyaways I don't have any hair like unraveling or anything so you'll see me here even take like the littlest strand twist that back up and then take another small strand and kind of keep twisting it all around I'm pretty much creating a knot or a lock situation and I palm roll in between all of that each time pretty self-explanatory just go ahead and watch me do it You wish that you had it, but all I gotta say back is, if I gotta choose me, I won't be afraid to, if I gotta choose me, I gotta do what I gotta do, when I love you I lose me, no I can't be attached to you. Another note is that if you notice that there are spaces in your lock that are thinner than the others, especially near the ends, Using the end pieces here to retwist back up is a great opportunity to take those end pieces and overlap them in those thin places and just keep twisting them over those places that look a little bit thin so that way your whole lock looks uniform. Now I do have a tip for you if your hair is actually longer than what you lock, want your locks to be, stay tuned. Here is my first lock, well first lock for you, I'm palm rolling it and this is how it looks. Wait, wait, pause. Quick thing, you guys. If your hair is longer than the butterfly locks that you want to achieve, so let's say, for example, your hair is down to here and you really want butterfly locks to hit you right at your shoulder. I didn't have to do that, so I didn't show it in the video, but just in case you are in the situation where you want shorter butterfly locks than where your hair is, there are two ways to do this. The first way that you can make your hair shorter is to grab your hair like this and hold it up to the length where you want your butterfly locks to be. So let's say your hair is this long and you want it to be this long. You just fold it up, you grab an elastic band and you just put one elastic here and one elastic here so that this becomes the length of your hair and then you can do your butterfly locks over that. The second way that you can make your hair shorter is to take your hair, let's say this is the braid before you put your butterfly lock over it, you take the end of your hair and you just crochet it through the root of your hair, through the top, so that way once you crochet it, it will be significantly shorter than the length of your hair. So those are two ways that if you want your hair to be shorter than where your actual natural hair lands, then you can either elastic band it up like that or you can crochet it through the top of your hair. Okay, so in true Naturally Essence fashion, I don't let you leave the tutorial without seeing it at least twice. And this time around, I want to show you guys how you can get those loops in your butterfly locks. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know. But there are these loops that you can actually create in your lock. I've seen people do the thumb technique, um, and I've seen people do some other things. So I'm just going to show you what worked for me. So sit tight. I gave you all the true of me. You like the view from behind, but you won't make it necessary. All right, so the key to getting the loops that you want is to wrap lightly. Now, you can see here as I wrap lightly, little curls start to pop out. And what I do is I just go ahead, take my finger and pull it out just a little bit. Okay, if you wrap too tight, you won't see this, but this is passion twist hair, so it is wavy, a little bit curly. So naturally, these little curls are going to pop out a little bit as you twist. If you twist down too firmly, you're going to flatten them out and not see them. So twist lightly. When you see the curls here and there, go ahead and just pull them out just a little bit and then continue to wrap down. Again, 
as I said before there is a sweet spot between two um, too tight of a twist and too loose of a twist and that's something that I can't explain to you guys you're gonna have to do it and get the feel of it to know what works for you what's too firm and what's too light now as I get to the bottom again all my hair is gone and I'm taking that excess hair and twisting it back up now what I want to do is make make sure that I'm not covering those curls that I just created so I'm kind of twisting around them looping around them I have about two or three um, in this lock in particular so I might twist up to um, the curl and then twist back down as you see me doing here and then just make sure that the end piece is you know wrapped all the way around but I don't really want to cover the loops that I just made so palm roll again always palm roll when you're finished integrating hair and just keep doing it over and over again I think that's pretty self-explanatory did I do it with the loop with my finger with you know that thumbnail thing if you know what I'm talking about, you've seen, you've seen tutorials, then you know what I'm talking about. Did I do it that way? Yes, I did. Do I think it's very simple? No, I don't. Do I think that you need that added stress to this hairstyle? No, I don't. So just go ahead and do this, guys, and you will get a very, very, very similar, if not the exact same, effect as doing it the other way. So I did do the thumb method several times and you know I don't I just don't think it's worth it but I'll show you what I did um, so basically the thumb method just involves you putting your thumb through the passion twist hair to create a little loop in which you wrap the passion twist hair around that loop release it and then kind of um, get a little knot situation it's, it's kind of hard to explain um but there it is I pulled it out a little bit because it was getting dragged down as I was twisting the hair around or wrapping the hair around but then here I go just pulling out a loop that I found as I was wrapping the hair around anyway so wh why would you do that when you can just do it the easier way I'm not sure but I showed you anyways you're welcome The last thing I want to show you guys is how to get the thickness all consistent throughout the whole lock. So you can see how the end of my lock right there is really thin. That's because my hair stopped and I was just wrapping passion twist hair on passion twist hair. So it's pretty thin. So what I do is I take that, that hair that still needs to be wrapped and I just focus on the bottom part. Okay, you can see me mainly focusing um, on the bottom part of the lock and then wrapping just a little bit further up at some points just to integrate the hair. But for the main parts of wrapping I wrap it mostly on that thin end right there and then you'll see how my hair is the same thickness throughout so if you do end up with any parts of your lock that are a little bit thinner especially towards the end just focus on wrapping the excess hair on that part so that your lock is the same thickness all the way through Alright you guys, so that is my tutorial on butterfly locks and if you have any questions about butterfly locks, if you're stuck in your bathroom like with your hand in your hair like help, don't hesitate to comment down below, ask me for help, ask me for tips, I respond very quickly and I would love to help you if you're stuck, if you have any questions or anything else that you want to know about butterfly locks. Okay you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any more protective style videos like this. No more natural hair videos will be lost in the YouTube atmosphere if you're subscribed. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Let's get to 10K you guys. I want to get my channel all the way up to 10K. Help me out with that by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I used to take myself out on